Ahoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Commander Tyrael and this is the US Coastal Tree. Now the US Coastal Tree isn't overly exciting to play. They have a lot of PT boats through the mid-tier. They don't have much in the way of frigates at all. And they're not as exciting as some of the other nations to play, especially the USSR or even Germany. Um, Japan, they have nice array of frigates once you get into the later tiers. The same with Britain. Um, the US Coastal Tree just doesn't have that oomph, and fair enough they have their Rim 24 in the form of a premium Asheville, but that doesn't offer much outside of the missile itself. The Asheville's not very exciting. Today I'm going to try my best to unlock the Tacoma class, USS Herquim, and it's taking me forever. Absolutely forever. Because there's a, that's due to a few reasons, and that's uh, there isn't a lot of opportunities to earn RP because the matches aren't too full, and you don't really have a survivable lineup. And unlike the USS Candid, which is survivable, but it's not very fun in my view. Our CAS aircraft today will be the venerable A20, which is a nice change from my P51 that I normally use, but I'm trying to keep the battle rating low. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I can do in a day's worth of gaming or so. I'm lying, it was like six months. Haha. <laughs> 380,000 RP is a lot of RP. And I sort of chipped away trying to get the LCS as well, but that is also not a very exciting boat. So at least I will be future proofing myself. And like, you look at the Russians, they've got so many exciting vessels. I'm sure that the Italians and the US could do with a real real a bit of attention over the next few months. Stop giving us Soviet coastal boats and give us something US or Italian, please. Nonetheless, let's jump into battles. Now, I was under the impression that PT-810 was a, a metal-hulled boat, but in War Thunder, she's, she's a wooden boat, and PT-811 is, is an aluminium-hulled boat. That could just be... A little bit of error on my part in terms of when you read something, you think you read it that way. Let me know in the comments below if PT A10 was supposed to be aluminium hulled. Now we've abandoned capturing that point because there's a destroyer coming in hard to Bravo, which is unusual. They don't normally push Bravo that hard. We're going to launch out these wonderful, wonderful American torpedoes with lots and lots of TNT. You only need to make one contact to destroy most destroyers. She seems to be preoccupied, so hopefully we get through. She seems to be engaged with someone off to her port side. Our first torpedo looks like it'll be the one to strike. Excellent. Very strong Mark 16s. Taking out an Italian destroyer. Oh, we've got a Frank Knox here. We'll launch out for the port torpedo. Fish away. Try sneaking around this side and see if we can get in with one from this angle. The last one I fired was a bit of a Hail Mary. Oh dear, he's looking at us. We have been sighted. Port hard rudder. Full back, slow down. I hear all of those traces hitting the rocks on the other side there. He definitely knows we're there. Oh, we got lucky with the torpedo. Excellent work there, super AV man. Give him a smiley face. Don't really like my chances here. We've got an SKR-1. And something else on the cap. Try getting some rockets out on him, but the sea state is a bit, bit rough. No accuracy there from the rockets. Fire off a couple of these really slow torpedoes. These are not good compared to the ones we were using on our last PT boat. Oh, he's looking at us now. <laughs> this is not something you want to see at close range. And we've been taken out. 
Those torpedoes are super slow. Still tracking on the SKR. Looks like we may strike him amidships. Oh, excellent. Mark 13 torpedo paying off. We'll see if we can finish off this friend of his on the cap zone. This case torpedo we can it has a very high drop rate. So we don't have to worry too much about speed. Hitting the dive brakes. Dropping the torpedo. Oh, there's another boat there. Is the torpedo big enough to strike both? Oh, not quite. That would have been cool. Double kill. Oh, turn the air brakes back off. Still no kill yet. Oh, we managed to get him there with the Mark 13. Excellent. Heading back to base. Not much time left in the battle. I think I think I might have a cuppa. Still a bit croaky in the throat. Just try and decap the Charlie point. Oh, there's a boat there. Rocket, 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 rocket. <laughs> oh. Rocket, rocket, rocket. <laughs> Pretty much the only reliable way to make RP in US Coastal Tree is to, to capture zones. Especially if you've got a premium PT like this one here, 658. We'll head out. We've only got a little bit of time left in the battle. Coast is clear there at the floating lighthouse. Got a couple of destroyers. I don't think I can get a torpedo out there in time. Oh no, we're getting clapped from the front. What is this? Oh, Mr. Man's come back with his uh, a replacement Sayeta right before the end of the battle. That's not what something I would do, but good on you, mate. Got some kind of slow-moving boat, possibly a M802 heading to Bravo. Already launched my fish at the destroyers. Oh, it's USS Candid. We'll wait for the artillery to reload. I'm not sure of his motion of travel, so we'll put it away from the Bravo point. And then if he's heading towards it, I can attack him with my depth charges and rockets. Let's head out. The enemy are capturing Alpha point. Let's make our motion now. USS Candid. Let's try and hit him with some rockets. We've got a poor sea state. A bit wobbly there off the bow. A lot of pitch. A couple of good hits. We've taken out his front gun. we just got to get across his bow. Trying to get underneath the guns. Ready for the depth charges. Away. And we have a nice, nice contact there. You can't get too close to those because if they're running depth charges too, they'll dump them. And they have lots. Alrighty, let's get this capture underway. Nice big kill there for the f opening match. Hoping to get some torpedo kills, but... I'm gonna ally up here under fire. Let's see what's happening. It's a friendly ship. Oh, German gunboat. Hasn't seen us yet. Rockets, rockets, rockets! Oh, the sea states are killing me, man. Aiming too low, aiming too high, everywhere but where I need them to go. Got some amidships, let's head off. And save our torpedoes, we'll get around to his stern. Lots of firepower on the PT boat. Coming up astern. Dump the depth charges any second now. Oh, excellent. 40 RP because he was an AI. This is what I mean. It's so hard to earn RP. Right, let's get on the Charlie point. Decap that. Get a nice 300 or so. Friendly boats everywhere. Things are looking pretty secure. Enemy boat, their spawn will drop some AI artillery on him. We've got, oh, we can't, we've got plenty of time to wait. PT-810. Another AI one, 20 RP.
recapping the Bravo points. Don't like it when they do that. Capture bone is secure, only 200 because we've no luck with that first salvo of torpedoes. That's very unfortunate. Could have sure, could have sworn they would have been sure shots. Nonetheless, we've got a second second salvo out. Enemy motor torpedo boat, take him down with a generous volume of fire. The Pepe Mafia. Oh, we've got a Chikugo coming. He's a little bit dangerous to fight. We might just put a torpedo out and then hide behind his container ship. I really don't want him to see me. At least until we get rid of all these. Fish away. Line up a second target. Fish away. There we go, nice and easy. Head back and we'll reload again before that Chikugo comes. Oh no, we just got splattered. Absolutely splattered. Chikugo's heading on the Bravo. He's gonna be super close. If he's aware, we're dead. And he's not aware, he's looking towards the enemy. This is exactly what we need and we're nice and close. Sea State's pretty good for rocket attack. Pretty ineffectual though. Just had a kill there on one of our Mark 16s from earlier. Take out the Bofors, take out his small torpedo launcher if he's got any on board. Hit the Bofors again. Oh, we might get him here with a depth charge. We're just faster than the Chikugo. Drop the depth charges. And again. We didn't need the second one. Nice, satisfying kill there. And we can recapture that zone. Very nice. Do you think he saw us? Just a little bit. Straighten up there for the rocket strike. Oh, managed to catch their main gun there. Very nice. Spray him over, get some more torpedoes out. Nice contact there to the pump room. His guns are caught on the other side now, so we've got plenty of time. Excellent, another 50. Keeping in mind this is a premium boat too, so wow. Only a quarter of a million to go, not far. Alright, decap the zone. All of the boats we've clapped were just AI boats, so they'll just be trimmed. Just basically annihilated five basic boats. Not much luck here today. Finding players, that is. Imagine getting clapped by a HMS Churchill. Frustrating thing is, even though PT-658 is a premium... Uh-oh. Alf. Let's get him. Oh, he just got me first shot. Right at the end of the match. Damn. Chip, chip, chip and away. New patch brought new changes to the economy, which means that... Oh, hello. Shoot him down here. Changes to the economy mean the Cyclone is a lot cheaper to use, so I'm going to run her a bit more. Repair cost has come down to about 6,000. Can afford to be a lot more aggressive with the Cyclone. She's a bit more fast, but the weaponry is underwhelming. I really wish they had have added the grenade launcher to the Bushmaster mount. There we go. The dummy naval base has been hit with an artillery strike. More bad guys. The Bushmaster is very good against small boats, especially with APDS rounds. Fairly easy. Got good tracking rate on it. Doesn't do much in the way of post penetration, but small boats, you can just annihilate their crews very quickly. Is this got that 3.7? I just want a little bit more for my for my buck, so to speak. Cyclone also has one of those funny new damage models where it's either really resilient or it's really squishy. 
LCS AI driven LCSs are the bane of my existence. They're very powerful with their quad bow fours. They just don't die. Oh, he's got a friend. We'll shoot him too. And then I got a little bit complacent there and they just melted through my crew. And we've been burnt down by the LCS. Curse you, AI. There right, we go. Nice little run here with the, t the 50 cals. Nice angle of attack there. Easy dubs. All right, come in for a bow attack. Drop the bombs. Now. Now. Oh, he got killed just at the last moment. That's unfortunate. Again, drop the bombs. Now. And now. Oh, no, it leaped over the turret. Oh, that would have been a nice connect to run into the face of the turret there. Seeing lots of S701s. Battle Pass task is no, la no doubt luring them to us. They're fairly squishy, but they've also got very potent weaponry, so you, you can't... There's a guy on the other side of that rock there. I just know it. I saw some traces before. So, we shall move into position to make sure that he can't get us and we can get him. A little bit of patience. He'll appear at any moment. There he's traces ago. What have we got? What have we got around here? Sounds like a bow fours. It's a fair mile. Easy kill. Especially at that range. Alright, we're going to move out and provide some cover for this destroyer. And we'll move on the alpha point. Oh, it's another 701. Unmistakable black camouflage. Get our big guns out onto him. We don't have a lot of health, so if he connects with us, we might get clapped. Oh, I spoke too soon, but we got him as well. Killing the bases lets you get the anti-mac award. That's interesting. You can't previously get anti-mac in... Naval battles. It's absolutely crazy that I have the same amount of RP to unlock the F-16, and I think I might make it there first. <laughs> Cyclone's pretty good at clearing the coastal waters, but its biggest bane is frigates and anything larger than a frigate. Even sometimes corvettes if they're hardy. We managed to clip ourselves another 701. We'll wait up for him. Here he comes. Open fire. They waste. The APDS rounds just chewing through the wooden hull. Just making sure you get all the compartments and it's done. Enemy coastal boats dropping some artillery. I think I might go the other way. Speak of the devil, we have a boat. Drop Artie on his approach. And it looks like he's cutting back across to Charlie. We'll go around that way. See what kind of ambush we can lay. So I won't go first. Here he is. Thunderbolt. A few of those guys getting around at the moment because they're in the war bond shop. Moving up on Charlie. What have we got here? Something big. Something little. Another PT. Another PT. Crossing paths. Switching targets. Didn't quite get to finish off the first one. Did a fair minute of damage. Another PT. Basically the entire US lineup just there paraded before us. Something a bit heavier around that corner. Try not to present too much of a target. Another PT. We'll get him. 1300 meter per second velocity on the rounds. It's very easy to cross that distance. Another PT. And you watch. The next big thing is going to splat us. Got a fair mile.
And now we've come across a real player. He's in something bigger, and he's going to splat us good. We'll try and call some artillery on his position. Making a fair amount of silver lines now. At least we just got back the repair cost of the cyclone in one capture. Artillery strike coming in nice and close. Not a lot of damage though before the Polish Garland takes us down. We're going to get him back. Here he is, sitting here lazily by the cap point. We're going to put three out, even though this is major overkill. We don't want him to avoid any of those. He's dropped a fish to try and get us back. Not going to happen. Oh, a little bit of tunnel vision there. We've just been killed by a PT-6. Oh, the BM-21. This guy will kill me in one hit if he gets me. So we're going to throw out some high explosive. Simply because I don't want to switch to the APDS. I don't want to have to wait. Oh, he's just outside the lead there. I'm, he's moving away from us. Come on. Those rounds are like small grenades. Oh, here we go. APDS versus World War II. River Barge. Surprisingly powerful against these things. Also, the Soviet ones. You can get through to their magazine. You can pop them. Slowly but surely. Oh, we're in a bit of trouble today. We don't have any coastal targets to fight, only low tier cruisers and destroyers. That being a mine lane cruiser, I believe. Got the USS Alwyn making a push for Bravo Point. I do have an, a couple of allies there. Hopefully, they can draw some of his attention. And I'll try and drop the artillery on him. When it reloads, it's probably your only answer in the Cyclone versus larger warships. So it's quite useful to get in the habit of dropping artillery on the larger ships where you can. He's also got an ally in the form of a Leopard. No meaningful damage. Let's move up into an ambush position so we can get a better sighting of this Farragut class that's heading towards Bravo. Here he comes. Calling in the artillery just before the Bravo. It's a little bit out of our fire arc. He's hot hooking it to the Bravo point. He's going to come straight in just on time possibly. Spotting shell has come in. And the salvo arrives just as he does on the Bravo. Very devastating hits. And he's been hit by an allied torpedo simultaneously. Very nice strike. Well done. Now the Leopard's on fire. She's taken some damage from that artillery too. So we're going to try and cripple her. Clear off the decks. Get rid of the torpedoes and the guns. There's that allied, I think it's a Hugen coming around behind. We're just going to keep her focused on me. I'm more resilient. Some nice shots in there. Her torpedo stores have detonated. The Hugen's coming up for a coup de grace. Torpedo to a midship boiler room. Very nice. Pretty proud to have assisted with that little attack. Just goes to show how effective coastal can be. Finally, less than 200,000. Haven't had much luck this battle. So we're going to try and make our life worth it with some effective CAS in the A-20. Come down, we're hitting this lead destroyer here. Dropping two bombs. Drop, drop. Should bounce straight into the bridge. Yes, decent hits. Boiler room, bridge, AA guns, all of it destroyed. 
I'm going to come around here and try and finish off his ally at least. Or perhaps him. him. Oh, watch out there for the tower. Taking a little bit of fire. Coming in nice and low. Getting ready to drop two bombs. They're going to collide here in the confusion. Drop, drop. We have set fire, unfortunately. We haven't got the extinguisher activated. Go, go, go. Ah, the wind's broken off. We managed to finish him off, though. HMS Calpy Scalpy is ours. We've got a German sub chaser and an American destroyer. Oh, and a Russian frigate. A Corvette, I should say. MPK 201. Very effective weaponry on those, the two 25mm cannons. The two double 25mm cannons are not to be trifled with, especially if you run the AP rounds. I find them to be very powerful. He just got a little bit... Coastal Patrol Craft is on station. Not much happening this battle. We've kept the coastal waters clear of any fishery infractions. Now it's time to fight the big boys. We've got a Clemson coming into Bravo to try and take the last of the points. I haven't been brave enough to go out into the Charlie Point. Open waters aren't this ship's strengths at all. You're more of an annoyance than anything to destroyers. Waiting for the artillery to reload. In the meantime, we'll take away as much crew as we can by getting rid of these open deck mounts. Front to back, also going for the bridge because we're going to call in the artillery any moment. Trying to kill the helmsman there. Calling in artillery ahead of the Bravo and our own helmsman is not paying attention. Breaking everyone's spine on the boat as we run into the rocks. Fortunately, we didn't actually take any damage. Only PT boats suffer from actual collision damage with land masses. The bigger boats seem to do all right. Trying to take out the helmsman while this LS3 runs in. I think, did we just shoot that torpedo? It looked like it exploded as I shot it. As he launched it. Uh, 1204. These things are very squishy with the APDS. If I can just shoot through the front turret, he will explode. They used to be a fairly good boat, those. I ran one of those for a while. They got some interesting weaponry on them. Finishing off the Clemson's crew. It's really just a death by a thousand needles, literally. 25 millimeter APDS rounds. Got another Litchfield coming in. We're going to take his helmsman out as well. Taking away his ability to maneuver is probably my biggest strength. Being able to shoot out his turrets. Staying ahead of him so he can't bring his other weaponry to bear. Take out these torpedo bays that are looking at us ominously. Death by a thousand cuts, like I said before. Heading back to the helmsman. Front gun is operational again. Get back onto the torpedo bays. You sort of really got to play this like a spider. You jump out and you, you try and poison them. You're trying to inflict some critical wounds. Let them flounder a bit and then you call in the, the artillery on their position. I've got another 10 seconds or so until I'm able to do that. So we'll keep the fire going into his bridge. Lock him into a bit of a flounder state. Just going to head around this rock formation. And then we're going to swoop in on our prey just as the artillery becomes ready. Artillery support is ready. Call out his position. Drop the arty. Got a Project 183 in the background. We'll try and take him out in the meantime. Freshly spawned. Very easy within one kilometer. I'm going to shoot out all of his torpedo bays again. 
Our artillery is on station. Couple of hits, nothing too dramatic, unfortunately. We did manage to rock him about a fair bit. Gonna take out his helmsman again. Fragments of the APDS round shredding the hull to pieces. Certainly not an overpowered weapon, that's for sure. It takes a lot of work to chop at these destroyers, even the reserve ones. But he's going down, we're going to put more into the helmsman. And I guess we're going to do the naval equivalent of a tea bag here and just drop the smoke in his face. Get close, just in case he drops some torpedoes. We don't want to get hit by those. And we managed to take down a destroyer after a minute or two of effort. Very nice work. Uh, we got a target rich environment here. PT boat galore. PT boat, PT boat, frigate. Is that an MPK 163, I think? You don't see too many of those. And uh, the usual M802 there. Spraying us with his 37mm. Now that rear gun is probably the most dangerous thing on that boat. Fairly resilient. Got to get those guns in. We're about to run into the wall, but that's okay. It should be enough cover from this M802. Who, despite all the hits we're taking, is not doing much damage to us. Cyclone's damage model proving to be very strong in certain situations. But not invincible. Although when you're fighting her in certain boats, it does feel like they are invincible, so I can sort of understand. We managed to take out the M802 with our artillery. Very Hail Mary play there. Paying off. And finishing off a Project 183 in the meantime. Let's see how cocky we can get. Trying to fight all those destroyers probably wasn't one of my proudest moments. This is the young fellow here slapping us as soon as he saw us. He's just been ammo racked. That famous German weakness there below the second turret. Try and fight that torpedo boat who's escaping. We might finish off this fellow while he's there. The M802 looks like it has respawned. The angle that we're taking fire from proving to be very, very resilient to the M802. He's just clipping shells off us and not actually doing any damage. He's pretty hard to fight at that angle though, in, with the Bushmaster. Let's see if we can't replicate the artillery kill from before. Take a direct fight. I'm going to put these APDS rounds into his secondary stores and try and detonate them. Try and get rid of some of that ammunition that he's going to use on us. Oh, we've got another PT boat here. Try and take him out as well. G5. Very nice. Done a six... Substantial amount of damage with that secondary explosion, but now he is reloading on the capture point. So he has got ammunition back. Previously, once you blew that store, they were one and done in the M802. If they're on the capture point now, they can still use their secondaries. I'm gonna try and get close anyway, finish him off. We're taking fire from the aircraft as well. Everyone's trying to get us. Finished off by the Frunze. A20's desperate bid to extricate this M802 from the Charlie Point. Dropping bombs, 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 and bombs. Oh, he blew up before my bombs did. And now I've got nothing to finish the fight with. <laughs> so it looks like the Tacoma class is pulling ahead of the F-16 in the race for the unlocking. <laughs> Quarter of a million each. I'm not doing so well in the A20 as Who goes there? That be the Albatross. Fairly potent boat.
again. I'm pretty resilient to those guns under certain circumstances, and then other times they wreck me. Alright, so let's secure the Alpha Point. Got a 701 there, get him out of the fight. The black camouflage really does stand out on the water. Hiding in the smoke. Some more for the bank. Oh, an M17 and he's fully loaded with mines. Let's try and capitalize on this. If we can get an AP PDS round through a few of those mines, we'll be able to detonate his entire boat. Otherwise, he's completely immune to us. So this is our action. Let's try and get some shots through. Oh, we hit one, but it didn't it didn't crit it. Let's try and proxy them with some close range artillery. Hurry up, hit the mines. Sitting juicy there on the deck. Whoa, that's a lot of 20 mil fire. Looks like high velocity rounds too. Poor guy on the turret there, just getting minced. Back to the task at hand, our artillery's just come in. Can we hit those mines on the on the deck? Come on! Yeah! Yeah! That's how you do it. If you see mines, aim for them. 40 millimeters or anything around that size can do it. Another German river barge. Our Bushmasters don't care about your armor plating, mate. Just put it through the entire length of this barge here. And every shot just chew the crew. We took out all of his weaponry. Looks like he's ready for us. A few more shots in there. Taking longer than I would have liked. Robbed. 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 <laughs> he set fire to us. He did a fair amount of damage. Next objective is to get to Bravo Point. We've got a destroyer hiding behind that island there. Oh, that's a random aircraft kill. What? Thank you. I needed it anyway. Oh, now they're capturing the point. I've just sailed all this way and... Unfortunately, the Bushmasters, while they will reach, they're only going to tickle this PT-15. Not going to do much damage at all. And I can't capture the point while this guy's here. I need to find a way to extricate him. And so, my plan is physical violence. We're just going to ram this guy. Straight, take his gun out, take his torpedo mounts out if we can. He's the heaviest ship, so he's going to determine where we go. Just nice clipping through the torpedoes, well within the minimum arming distance of them, so they are not going to threaten us. Calling the artillery ahead of his position, staying nice and close. He's, we're very hard to shoot at this range. Okay, looks like he's realized our arty's coming in. What's he going to do? We're going to stay inside so his torpedoes don't work. And we're going to try and push him if he stops. Oh, we've taken gunfire and sunk. <laughs> but too late. The plan goes exactly the plan. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, God. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> It's an invincible IL-2. Die! And no. And you know what? That's all the patience I have for this game today. If you've liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Hit subscribe because I've got plenty more coming this year. And I'll try and finish to get to the Tacoma class. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.